Do you know German company Revel? The quality of their kits involves serious amount of controversial features. In a state of mental break, I have purchased this kit in a drug slash toy store. I have paid with coins, living happy and full of expectations. Assembly of the car was simple as you can expect from the kit like this. Thus, let us let's let's aim focus on juicy stuff. The clear plastic have had to be covered with some tape. I have used some basic water resistant masking tape. Important step, because the major impression of the Volkswagen depend on the windows and it's and it was necessary to do precise cuts with my favorite medical blade. The headlights, interior parts of the glass have had to be covered also. The moment full of expectation before airbrushing. On the model show in Hungary I have purchased some goods from Panzer Art Production, among them the wheels for this kit. The recycled wheels from Revel will serve as an experimental subject. Let's super glue them on the toothpicks and start to paint them. The black primer has become standard in this workshop for now. The shift between raw plastic and black is engaging every time. The simple Panzer Grau coating has been chosen for this project. Mixed from Potamia paints, focusing on the emphasizing shapes applied in a thin layers, accurately diluted and modulated with bright and dark tones. With it, in motion material contest helped me in which direction to proceed with an airbrushing. The result like this I have achieved for the first time in my history and I was little worried about the next steps. In the scale modeling environment is popular to varnish stuff before chipping and other weathering techniques. I wanted to try this too. The satin surface gives the paint job the necessary level of depth. The effect is amazing. It has changed my perspective in painting in general. At this point I have decided to do not complicate my life and I have used some decals out of the box. Those in this kit are thick and stiff. I have tested decal solution from AK but with no significant effect. Let's reach the tap water that proved the quality throughout generations. I was always tempted by contrast of white on the dark grey background. At this stage I had an idea of putting some lightning inside of the car in the future, so I have drilled some holes in it. Afterwards I have used my favorite Vallejo paints on the rubber part of the wheels, mixed from the white and black diluted in tap water. The rubber paint was applied in an even layer with thin brush. This layer will be working like a background for all paints. With the same mixture I have painted also the leather parts of the seats in interior of the car. I have tended to imitate the leather surface in the following steps. For the wooden parts was applied some base coat mixed from white, beige and ochre. Black and white mixture has suited me as an underlayer for chips. Mixed on the wet palette and applied with a very thin brush. In this case I have tried to be very precise and keep the chips under the control because I have used to create crazy amount of chips before but out of the scale. For the dark chips I am used to mix some dark color consisting from black brown and burnt umber. The burnt umber is from Vallejo Air range and is possibly my the most favorite shade of acrylic paint. The chipping of the wheels has to be very tiny and also works as a guideline for other chips. It was the moment for an oil paint. I am used to work with these brown shades mixed with the black or white at the most. I have the large package of black and white, so I store my in old Tamiya jars. And this is my palette where I mix oil with wash benzene. It evaporates quickly, so you can apply multiple layers in a very short amount of time. And the next advantage of the thinner comes with very flat finish as it dries. With this mix you have enough time and you can make steps back, which allows you to have full control over the process. I have treated the seats the same way as the wheels. The oils give even to the black leather and the rubber 
saturation and depth. I have decided to put some rope around the rear bumper just to enrich the rear of the car, the LED wire painted with acrylics. I was always curious about creating dust and mud residues on the model. I have chosen after some experiments the AK chipping fluid is the right way to start. Simply spray it over the surface. It was time to remove masking tapes with tweezers. This step is very pleasant, it also looks very good on camera. For the dust I have used some German grey, buff and natto brown, all diluted in AK flat varnish. Why? Because dust is matte, ergo flat, and I want it to preserve the contrast between car body and weathering. The mixture was applied with an airbrush on the spots where the dust should or could settle itself. The wet cotton swab is my favorite tool to use during the process of removing redundant chipping fluid from the surface. It scratch and disrupt the dust layer and simultaneously with rotating movement remove the needless material away. I have tried the same process on the wheels but in two layers. With the cotton swab is removing of paint from the tires so very simple and takes only few minutes. Few experiments on the wheels served as a training before the final ones. The mud drippings has been made with a tiny brush and blowing some air into the paint. Later my attempt led to imitate some wet effects. It has consisted from the AK wet effect fluid mixed with fast drying thinner from Aptalung 502 and dyed with oil colors. Adding some splashes and enhancing crevices has been efficient too. The same process has worked also for chassis. I have tried at this point to fit the wheels to the car for the first time. A little mistake in geometry. I have had to try it before the painting. It was absolutely out of place and I had to remove some excessive plastic with this awesome saw. After a few tens minutes later the wheels has fitted correctly. It was time to give some Vallejo paints on the steering wheel and the red lights on the rear are my favorite crispy detail on this model. Simple as it is, clear plastic painted with crap luck oil paint left to dry over the night and then only assemble all components with the super glue. At this moment the model was finished. For the purpose of the arm I have left the steering wheel not attached yet. It was very nice experience to experiment with this kind of weathering. I am looking forward to the next projects and I hope you will find even more information in the new one. Also thank you for the feedback in the comment section and on the Instagram where you can find more details about current projects in Supper's workshop. Goodbye and see you soon on this channel.